Hello and welcome to Coordinates in all four quadrants with Qubit Education. In this mini lecture you will understand the term quadrant, know the difference between the four quadrants and plot points in all four quadrants. So here is an example of um, a four quadrant style set of axes. So here we have quadrant one which means it's in this quarter of the graph. Okay, for example, 2, 2 is in this one. Here is quadrant 2, where we have everything from minus 1 onwards on the x-axis and all of the positives in the y-axis. And then we have quadrant 3, which has all negatives, and then quadrant 4, which has some negatives, some positives. Okay, so we have positive, negative, positive, negative, 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 positive. All right, so we have four quadrants. The origin is in the middle, and that's cluster 0, 0. So sometimes in your exam, it will say the origin, or it will say 0, 0. Just remember, that means the same thing. We always do the x-axis first. So if you are given a coordinate like this, 2 would be along the x-axis first, and then 2 up. Okay, so have you heard of the phrase across the landing and up the stairs, or something like that? And that might help you remember that you go across first, and then up or down. Okay, so x first, y second. So coordinates in the first quadrant. So here we have 2, 2, 5, 2, 9, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so these are just examples of different coordinates in the first quadrant. We've got 2, 2, so across x up to uh, up to y, sorry, and then we've got 5, 2, so across 5 on the x-axis and up 2 on the y. And then 9, 5, across to 9 on the x-axis, up to 5 on the y-axis. 6, 7, across 6 on the x-axis, up to 7 on the y-axis. Quadrant 2 has negatives on the x-axis, so here we have minus 2, 2. So across to minus 2 on the x-axis first, and then up to the 2 on the y. So it's always the x-axis first, minus 3, 8, minus 7, 7, minus 9, 4. Okay, so just give me some examples of the second quadrant. Quadrant number 3, okay, are both negatives. So we may have minus 3, 2, but we still go x first, then y. Minus 9, 5 x first, minus 9, sorry, minus 5. Oh, what am I doing? Sorry, it's there. Uh, minus 7, minus 9, so minus 7, minus 9. And here we have 0, minus 6, so 0 means we've not moved anywhere and you've just gone to minus 6 on the y-axis. And finally, in quadrant 4, you have one here, so across the x-axis and down to the y, so it's 4 minus 1. This one is across the x-axis is 9 minus 7. This one is 6 minus 5. And we have here 0 for the, but this is on the x-axis, so it's actually 9 across the x-axis and 0 down, so we've not moved down the y, okay? So what about coordinates in all four quadrants then? So here we have 2, 6. Here we have 6, 2. Here we have minus 3, 0. Here we have minus 6, 4. Here we have minus 9, minus 4. Oh, sorry, minus 3. Here we have minus 1, minus 6. Here we have 5, minus 1. Here we have 9 minus 7, okay? So it just gives you an idea of how to plot them and make sure you're using the x-coordinate first. Well done, and thank you so much for using Qubit Education. I'll see you next time.